Hi everyone, Miss G here. Today, my daughter Sabrina is joining us for this wonderful and fun icebreaker game. Hi. And Sabrina, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready to have some fun? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's do this. So, everyone, this is my favorite icebreaker game. And usually I play this with my students at the beginning of each school year in the fall. And it is called Drawing Blind. It is my take on a combination of blind contour drawing and put my twist on it. I like to cut paper in small rectangles or squares um, because as you're gonna find out right now, students will have to place it on top of their heads. That's why it's called Drawing Blind because you can't look at what you're drawing. It has to stay on top of your head the entire time until the teacher tells you that time is up because everybody finished and that go, you can take it off your head and then you can show it off and have some fun laughing at each other's silly drawings because I can guarantee Sabrina, it is not gonna look like <laughs> anything uh that it's not gonna look like what it's supposed to look like okay it's gonna look funny it's oh are you ready no let's go vamanos what are we drawing so let's put it here so i'm the teacher so i'm gonna tell you what to draw mm -hmm. and usually i just ask students to draw like four or five things i'm gonna make sure it's easy i'm okay. just gonna start it off nice and easy for uh -huh. you draw a flower but if you want an extra challenge draw a flower that has a stem and leaves okay all right ready set go <laughs> okay flowers done leaves oh boy i can't wait to look at my drawing and your drawing <laughs> Wow. Okay, mine's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Go closer to the camera. Who has the better flower drawing? <laughs> Did you draw leaves? Um, Are those I tried. I, tr I tried to, but <laughs> it looked more of a flower, like a flower. It's a pretty that had a flower, stem. though. It looks like a really pretty carnation. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Sabrina. Okay. Next, let's go. This is fast paced. Oh my gosh. Look to go ahead and draw a house. And the challenging part would be drawing with a window, or at least one window, and a door. Ready, set, go. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I did that. I just started drawing upside down. This upside down house. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think this one's gonna look terrible, but maybe it would be a good laugh. So we have to wait till everyone's done, right? So I have to wait till you're done. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Ooh! <laughs> I, I think, the same. no, I think this round, Sabrina, you won. You won this one. You got it. Oh, I that, had it. I tried to make it. The window, the, yeah, window the window flew off. <laughs> the window is like over there, but yeah. the door looks real. This is going to be the last one, okay? Because I think everyone's getting the picture. Um. This one, this is one, okay? Listen up. We're gonna draw a face. It has to have all the features, eyes, nose, and mouth, and you have to include hair. You get to decide what kind of hairstyle, okay? Ready, set, go. And this is the last one, so make it good. Watch, mine's gonna look like, it's gonna look like a cabbage. <laughs> uh, or a cauliflower. I have a really bad feeling and I don't think I got a nose on there. Boop, boop, boop in the middle. I forgot the nose. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I tried making an egg. Sabrina, you won! You won! Yours have at least yours has a face. My face is down here. That's the head and that's the hair. Whoa! <laughs> This is the first time Mine looks I like a potato. This is the first time I actually did it like really really bad. Poorly done. That's poor. It's okay. 
<laughs> Mine looks like a potato. This is supposed to be the face right here, but I drew the face down here. <laughs> Mine looks like a potato. It's cute. I like that it has a really nice wavy hair. Yes. <laughs> I hope you had fun with us today. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. Until later, keep creating!